All right, guys, in this video, what I want to do is I want to talk to you about proper layout constraints and how to set up your items on your screen so they're adaptive to every layout. So what I did already is I started a brand new project. So let's go hop over in the main storyboard. And we can see in before, again, what I did is I just clicked use size classes and uncheck this and it gave us that little iPhone that resembled our simulator. However, that wasn't really the proper way to do it. I mean, whenever we're just testing things out and looking at cool little demos, learning how to develop, it's fine. But that's never going to work because our applications, they need to be adaptive to every layout. Every single Apple device, preferably, and also whenever they rotate it. So a bunch of different screen sizes, a bunch of different orientations. So let's go ahead and learn how to properly design a layout. So the first thing I'm, I'm going to do is just add some items on the screen. So I'm going to add four buttons. So a butt, and I'll say like a top left. And I'll adjust these in a second. Top right, bottom left, and bottom right. All right, so now let's go ahead and position them like we would think. So grab the top left, drag it up until you see that little guideline, and also to the left right there. Now for the top right, put it up against the right and also put it in line with the top left. And for the bottom left and bottom right, let's go ahead and do the same thing. All right, so that looks pretty good right like that again this is just going to be a really simple example and actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to take like what can i get maybe a label to stick in the center let me get a text view we haven't used that yet so a text view is pretty much just um well it's the same thing as kind of a text view in web design just a little chunk of text it's bigger than a label a label is usually just one word or one sentence so this would be for something like a paragraph and i have like snot in my nose so you know that's pretty disgusting all right so now what we need to do is run this bad boy and check out what goes wrong and let me run it on like an iphone 5 or something so we're gonna run this in the simulator aka the simulator but whatever and check it out so okay that looks nothing like we expected i mean this top left button looks all right, but this is way off to the side. The bottom left button is like getting cut off. And if I click hardware, then what I can do is I can rotate left or right. All right, so that, I don't know, like doesn't even fix it. You can see the right button at least, but everything else is getting cut off and messed up. So what we need to do, let me just close my simulator, is we need to make some rules saying how we want things to be laid out or other words position on the screen now these rules in ios they're called constraints so we can click on one of these items and start adding constraints and for example these constraints would say okay always position it so it's in the top right corner of the screen so no matter how big your screen is no matter what position you're holding it in it's always going to be in the top right corner so let's do that right now for example so what i want to do is actually close my file navigator right here and to do that I'm gonna click this little icon hide or show the navigator and I'm gonna open up this by if you go in this file at the bottom left you see this tab so this allows you to see all of the items on your screen each of these refer to a different object for example this top layout guide is just a little reference where the status bar would be you know that little black bar that says the time and the battery life the bottom layout guide is just the bottom of your screen. The view is, just think of it like the overall screen in general. It's the container that holds every other item on your screen, on your interface. So the view is just the basic screen, the main screen. These are all the buttons. And of course, that is the text view. So again, like I said, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna add a rule to this top right button and that rule, technically called a constraint, is gonna say always position this in the upper right corner. So make sure that you have your view selected, 
in your top right button selected. And what you can do is you can hold down control on your keyboard and drag this. So you see that we have a little blue line just like whenever we were adding actions and outlets. Drag this from the top right button to the view and release. Now whenever we do this, we say we want to add a rule to position the top right button relative to the main screen. So now we're saying don't, well, like before you're just looking at the top left corner. No, no, no. What you should do now is you could position this item on the screen relative to the entire screen. So you guys are going to see what it does in a second. So if we choose trailing space to container margin, I know it's kind of a stupid name, but what it does is it adds a constraint. In other words, a rule right there. Now, whenever we click this object, we can see that it now has a constraint, but we have these weird orange lines. Now, anytime you're working with constraints and you see these orange lines, it's not good because it means that you have some kind of issue. Something's not working the way it's supposed to. Now, the reason that we have this issue right now is the way we position this is we need two rules. First, we need to say where we want it to be positioned horizontally. And the other one is where we want it to be be positioned vertically. Now that first thing we did, it just takes care of the horizontal position. It gives it a little bit of padding on the right hand side. Now, if you click this little red arrow, then it's going to give you some more detail. It says need constraint for Y position. So essentially it's yelling at us. It's like, Hey Bucky, you told me where to position it left and right, but now I need to know where to position it up and down. So let's go ahead and back by clicking structure and do that right now. So probably the easiest way that we can do this is this. Go ahead and click this again and hold down control and drag it back up to the view. And now we want to add another constraint. And this constraint can just be top space to top layout guide. This pretty much means just butt it up against that top layout guide right under the status bar. So now whenever we click it, it now knows how to position it horizontally and vertically. So what we can do is just run the simulator and test this out. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, it's gonna work this time. All right, so check it out. So unlike before when this button was way off over in no man's land, right now it's in the top right corner, but let's go ahead and try to rotate it. Something's probably gonna mess up, rotate right. <laughs> Look at that, looking good, no matter what way we rotate it. And also, if we ran it on an iPad simulator, on an iPhone 6, it would always appear in the top right. Pretty stinking awesome. So it follows those rules, but now we have to fix all these other things as well.